told you guys I'm bringing another classic episode today, guys. Another Aerials Entertainment Podcast. We have an exciting, fun, packed show. So buckle up. It is November 3rd, 20. 21, got your popcorn, okay? Grab your soda, call everybody you know, okay? Because we are going live in three, two, one. Woo! Welcome, everybody, best friends, listeners all around the world. We are live here for another Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. I am your host. It's November 3rd. I, I'm going to just stop talking because I am so excited. I am super stoked. For our guest today, guys, turn up the volume. I give you the one, the only, the myth, the legend, Angelia. Woo! Hey! I'm telling, that's what I'm talking about. Tell hey, me. hey, hey. Are, where are you from? You're in Minnesota. Yes, Minnesota, the Twin City. Absolutely cold. We call it Minnesota. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm here in Denver yesterday was in its 30s so it was cold yesterday and the day before today we're back in the 50s so I get it oh at least y'all got the mix that's what I would love like man just imagine it's cold and then it stay cold y'all at least get the cold did it get warm yes <laughs> that's true because yeah it was been cloudy the last few days and this morning I see this big rare light trying to come in my house and I'm like, what, what is, is that the sun? So I opened the hey. <laughs> Come on, son. I was so happy. We had the cells like, whoa, this is a different, cause the last three days, it's just been super cloudy and cold. Yeah, yeah. Um, Minnesota, where you're at, isn't that where the Minnesota Twins play, the baseball? Yes, the Minnesota Twins. Go to the, go to the stadium. <laughs> the huh? oh, yeah, the Vikings, yeah. yeah. Oh snap! The Timberwolves. Yeah, you go to the games? Um, never been to a Vikings game. Mm -hmm. Never even been to a baseball game. Okay. Believe it or not. Yeah. Um, I've been to a Timberwolves game a long time ago. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I I ain't been to no sports here. Back home, yeah, I'm from Indiana, so Notre Dame. You know, we used to go to all the Notre Dame football, basketball, and that's college. You know for those that don't know. And so, yeah, that's the games I used to go to. Wow. Yeah. Um, how long you been living in Minnesota? Man, area for like, since I was 10. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm 38, so a long time, right? All right, for sure, yeah. yeah. Okay, awesome. Well, I wanna say thank you so much for coming on the show. But before, I'm just started wanting to jump in questions, but before we do that, I gotta do a self promo real quick because that's what pays the bills so here we go guys you know what to do if you're driving on the road pull over the side of the road if your boss is talking to you you know what to tell them you know if you're, you know if you're uh if you're uh if you're uh on the plane turn up the volume because here we go arielent.com we got the merch right here we got the t-shirts stickers and pan come through once you're there check out my music there i am got my guitar i got the christmas album i forgot i, gotta, I keep forgetting gotta promote the christmas album Check out my Christmas album, arielent.com. Thank you so much while you're there. If you know anybody that needs a photographer, uh, I do weddings, quinceaneras, headshots, sporting events. Let me know. I do travel. I do it all, guys. Professional photographer. Um, book online as well. Check out my podcast, arielent.com. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. Second way to support me is by going to my... YouTube channel. Can you believe it or not, guys? We hit 220 subscribers. I think we hit that like three days ago. It's an amazing. I hey, I'm proud of you. Good boy. Yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. That is good. To all the listeners, to all my best friends for sharing uh, the links to everybody you know. You guys know the drill. AerialENT.com, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast on the YouTube. Thank you so much. Boom. All right. Uh, the donation links are down below. Guys, you, that means a lot to me. Um, I, when Every time I get a donation, it puts a big smile on my face, and it just shows me that uh, I'm on the right path, and it's just amazing. So I'm just believing in myself, and uh, it just means a lot when you guys believe in me too. So thank you so much. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast. I did print off the prayer for today. Today is November 3rd. I got the prayer today. I printed it off specifically for this, guys. So here we go. I just want to say thank you, God. 
glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, ever shall be, world without end. Angel of God, our guardian dear, to whom God love commits us here. Ever this day and night, be at our side to light and guard, to rule and guide. Thank you, God, so much for Angelia being on the show, for all the listeners, for our perfect health, for the roof over our shelter, for over our head, and just uh, the food you provide us and um, all our dreams and wishes coming true. So thank you, thank you, God. Glory to God. Boom. That's how we do. Amen. We're all on the same frequency right now. Everybody listening right now, we're all on the same frequency. So here we go. Angelia, tell us who you are and where we can follow you. How? So I'm Angelia. Um, Social media. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Look at my brother put me on there. So that's my Instagram. Um, I'm a 38-year-old mother of three, wife. Um, I (laughs) have a business that I have had for five years. It's a home and community-based business serving adults and individual seniors with development disabilities, mental illness, um, and basically, you know, um, coming up with programs around their life um, to help them and assist them in their homes and in the community. Is you know, being a friend, being a big sister, big brother, little sister, little brother, whatever that looks like for that individual. Um, I also do, I'm a jack of all trades, you know. Um, I am a second time breast cancer conqueror. Um, warrior, whatever you want to call it. Um, I am currently um, in the health and wellness industry. You will see some of those products um, like my yummy, yummy sea moss. Um, sea moss, you know, is good for a lot of things. Um, you can find that right on my feed. Um, one of those sites, I haven't updated my lift, my links, but you can find it in the, either one of those, the Nutriverse, any of those links, you can go and it'll take you right on my website. You can find this and a lot of um, amazing products I have. It's the health and wellness, essential oils, body health, um, beauty care. As you see, I'm a, I'm a product of my product, literally yeah. detoxing every day. Um, I work out. You know, I'm, I'm not <clears throat> letting something stop me. Um, I'm also into motivating, speaking to people, um, helping them find themselves, shifting their mindsets, um, being attentional, being a conqueror you know all of us go through battles that no one know nothing about but it's how you handle that battle and so that's something that it i love it's a passion for me to help other people speak life into other people to help them stay elevated not worried about nobody else but tunnel vision right because if you focus on self we're not worried about what nobody else says because really it's none of our business it's God's business. So that's a little bit about me. I'm sure you guys will get more information as my brother go through the question. So thank you. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much. I wrote everything here, what you said, you know, you, you have things for mental illness, you have programs, you're a two-time breast cancer conqueror. That's amazing. Thank you, God. You have essential oils. Um, you help the, you help people find themselves. Um, you, uh, yes you know, you bring life into people, you know what I mean? So, and you elevate, which and I'm always, always talking about. <laughs> love that. Absolutely. You already know. I do know. So here we go. Um, what is it? Do you like about being an entrepreneur? You got hands in everything right now. Um, so what, um, what is it that you like about being an entrepreneur, being, doing motivational speaker you're being a mindset coach you have like you're just doing it all tell us about that yeah um what makes me you say what makes oh i just it's just a passion honestly um it just comes natural i've been you know getting on facebook live and you know talking i look at some of my lives that pop up from 20 10 and you know these different things I'm like wow I was really speaking not even know you know just speaking on the top of my head but when you're gifted and you're favored by God he'll use you in different ways you know and it's funny because I'll get friends that I went to high school middle school with that I haven't seen in years and run across and they be like man your live or your, you know those videos you be posting on your Facebook those are so inspiring like I was having a bad day and I came across this and this is how that made me feel keep doing them or why you stop doing them you know just you question things sometimes when you're not getting what you're looking for so let me be 
very specific likes, comments, shares, right? Because that's what we all looking for when we post something. And we may see another friend or associate that we we see in another person posting or liking and comment sharing, but they're not doing that to ours. So that can be discouraging. You know, I'm just being real. And so after a while, you know, I really had to tap into it and, you know, come to a conclusion. This isn't for the likes, comments, and shares. This is for whoever needs to get that message. They will receive it, you know, because you don't know what people are going through. You know, me speaking what I'm speaking right now, somebody could be getting healed from what I'm speaking on. You know, so it's just to me, I just think it's always important to be yourself, be authentic. Don't be afraid or ashamed to speak on what you need to speak on. Whatever that looks like, however that comes out, that's you. That's your personality. We all are growing through something, right, Um, as we develop. And so I'm just big on, you know, learning from my mistake and trying to become the best version of myself. That's all I can be. That's all anybody can be is every day. Once we learn something that we know that wasn't right, it is our assignment at that point to do right. Otherwise, when we do wrong, we're just going backwards, so. Right. Keep moving forward, learn from your mistakes, and you're gonna keep making that same mistake until you learn it. So just, you know, I uh, like that. That's a great message. And I wrote here, be authentic, <laughs> like that. Cause that, you know yeah. what, people love that. They like the rawness, the realness, the authentic. Yeah. The, nobody likes that fake anymore. Nobody likes the, the script lines anymore. Nobody likes the 30 awesome. takes anymore yo i do <laughs> i do promos i do one two takes that's it and they just blow up. it's amazing it is I it's like life is about having fun you know we we was pencil you know penciled in you know school and you know I church know. Where it is. Oh. once you come out of that it's like do you be you learn from your mistakes and keep going keep growing and keep going that's it Keep growing, keep going, believing in yourself. And the more you do, yeah. that, you focus and all that energy will just come out of you naturally. And people are just going to gravitate towards you. That's what I end right. up with. Right. I'm just giving thanks to God I, endlessly. That's what I do. I'm all about. Yeah. So, Angelia, yeah. what, who's your, um, who, who was your favorite influence to get you where you are right now? Favorite influence, I was <laughs> Outside of God, God is my influence, right? Absolutely, my right? spiritual influence. And I got my mom who I look up to. Okay. But um, outside of my mom, what really tapped me into myself um, is a lady named Stormy Wellington. She is um, a public figure, um, you'll say. She's into the, the same um, health and wellness industry. That's how I got um, introduced to it. Um, but she also is just such a intentional integrity type of a person. She teaches you how to live in yourself, in your purpose, in who you want to know intentionally, um, standing up for yourself um, to just keep going. You know, no matter how things may look, don't let what somebody do or say take it personal. You have to keep on going because what a person doing say is not because of what something you did. If you didn't do anything wrong, how can a person really just snap off on you? You know, you didn't. So that's where that four agreements come in, where it's like, don't take things personal. And that's a book that I'm getting into. So it's just a lot of things she really have. Like, I'm, I'm proud of the woman. Like me talking to you two years ago, we couldn't probably have this full conversation or my language wouldn't be the same my body language you know just a lot my mental state of mind wasn't like right there but she has taught me how to just I've always been intentional I've always been a person that track people that's just a gift from God and I'm grateful you know from babies to people I don't know so it's a blessing to have that attraction but it can also come with a lot of what enviness jealousy you know I was just reading a post about that and I was like wow that really hit something because people get upset because of your favorite you know, they say that you're friends, they love you, but in the background, they're hating you. They're stabbing you. They're cutting you. <laughs> so I'm just like, you know. Sometimes it's the inner circle that you are supposed to have your back are actually the ones talking. Yo. Mm-hmm. Oh, I am sad. Yes. You know, because it's like me, I'm the type, I want all of us to win. I know. Like, seriously, I want, if I'm making a, say I'm a millionaire. I'm not, I'm not a selfish, whatever I did to get, I'm not going to even get there by myself. My team is going, we coming together. We're, we're going, we were like in hands together. 
Straight this up. is a team brother and sister. Ever. I don't care what color. You can be purple, blue, short, mob, white. I don't care. If you're ready, let's go. Yo, we got on the same team from the gratitude room. That's what we. Mm -hmm. That's uh, like that's what I was saying when um, I would oh shout out to the gratitude room. Shout out to everybody Yay. right now. Drip squad. <laughs> <know>. Drip squad. <laughs> drip drip drip. <laughs> Man, they, 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 oh man, they loving right now. They jumping right now. Okay, so um, um, that's, oh man, like everything, like how you said, you just want everybody to win. I get into yeah. this gratitude room. Uh, I believe it was the first day I, I get in there. You guys were so welcoming and, and yes. just everything. And uh, seeing, uh, I'm here with you because we scheduled this a while ago. Yes, we did, like a few months ago. And I almost forgot until I looked. I'm like, because I just did a podcast last week for Mike. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And I'm like, dang, let me look at Eric. And I'm like, wow, next week. So it's just like all these things is coming into place. Like what you don't understand is you and Mike, this is something I've been praying for, Ariel. Y'all are the first two podcasts I've ever been on. Yeah. So I'm so grateful because I have a purpose to be doing something. What I'm doing right now. Y'all see this, this shaved head, this 38-year-old woman who's fighting you know, a, a, a second time breast cancer conqueror who is unapologetically herself. Yeah. Living in her, this this wasn't me about a year. I couldn't probably wasn't, couldn't be living in this right here. It's embarrassing, but guess what? I'm living, I got life, I got breath. Somebody didn't live with what I'm dealing with. So why wouldn't I be using my voice to go help other people? You know, cancer, any type of thing can kill you. If you settle in, okay, you got this disease, you're only going to live, okay, and you align with that, oh, yeah, you're going to, you gonna... absolutely. But if you say, okay, that's what you say, besides of what you say, I'm about to get up and do whatever I got to do, change my habit with my thinking, because stress is going to kill me. Taking things personal is going to kill me. Getting mad easily going to kill me. I got to change the way I eat, the way I think, the way I move. I got to move my body. Like literally, I got to move my body. I don't, I don't care if it's a walk, a jump, a, 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 a bike ride. You have to do things. Once you start doing that, you got life back in you. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh, you nailed it. You got it. Like energy comes from emotion or emotion comes from energy or something like that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's legit. And you, you just said it all best there. I can't even top that. What I was, <laughs> what I did like what you said in there the most is everything, but I heard that you said you like biking and that will be yes. our next topic. Yay. <laughs> tell me about, tell me about the biking life. I know you're, you got all these things. You got lashes, you do bikes, <laughs> you're a bike, right. you gotta do all this stuff. So let's get into the biking. Cause when it, you post, yeah. you post on your bikes on Insta, I show my girls like, cause I try to get my girl on clubhouse and she's like, she's not right. A not about that life uh -oh. Silk, she will eventually I <laughs> and i was like i was like babe this is this is one this is angelia the one that rides the bike check out her post and then she yeah. listen to you she, i mean she listens to everybody but when you speak you, you know how people ha can relate to better when like yeah absolutely so yeah you, you ride bikes she rides bikes she's like yeah what's up so oh that's cool i gotta i can't wait to come meet y'all and kick it man we're gonna go bike ride we're gonna have us a good time oh snap. <laughs> don't even start that don't even start that. <laughs> bike out of the shed but my girl, my girl took her bike in today because she has one of those like legit bikes where you can just take it back you have like two tune-ups a, a year so she oh took, wow yeah so she um so she took it for a tune-up today they she picks it up tomorrow okay uh, but yeah no she, she's ready she's like i'm gonna get the bike she, she's gonna get the bike and keep riding the next day and the next yeah. day, and the next day she's like all pumped up that's how i feel like biking and that's just something really aerial that I started this year. Cause I used to get on bikes. I, well, I used to ride bikes when I was a kid. Loved it. Yeah. And then you know, as I got older, it hurt. It was like, man, my butt hurt. I was like, I cannot do it. Like, I don't see how people ride their bike. So I was just riding one day and I'm just like, man. And it just was something different about the energy, like that bike. And I was like, then I went and bought a bike and you ain't stopped me yet. Like, I just, I love it. It's just. I don't know. I'm, I'm a nature person. I like to get out and, and just get the air. I'm mad as get cold. That's why I say cold ain't for me. I'm an outside girl. I was born in August. I know I'm supposed to be like in Florida somewhere. I'm just saying that it got to be super warm. But 
I like, you know, looking at the trees, the water, the birds, like hearing it, you know, just all of those things. It's so soothing and just the sceneries. It's just so beautiful. And it just does something for your mental. You know, I just think it's so it's like meditation almost, but on your bike, you know, in your own vibe. So that's why I love I love it. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. It's because you're so focused on the ride. You're focused on like the bike and you're focused yes. on your environment, your surroundings. And that's and that's mm-hmm. being inside in nature. You know, I think when I go hiking, the reason mm-hmm. I feel amazing, not only do I feel amazing coming home, but tired, you know, drained, but the next day I'm like, woo, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like living because I'm just, cause my brain got a mental workout from the yeah. hike. Not only was it like, you know, you got to work out your body for the hike, but then yeah. you're walking, you got to watch your steps, you walk, rocking yeah. it. So like that's working your mind so much. And then yeah. that's, and that's, that's important. Like you need to do that. Yes. You be having some beautiful, like, I mean, I'm like, man, I would love like all your little trails, like when you be walking and I've never hiked. That's something I've been wanting to do. That's what I'm like. I want to go home. Like I'm serious. I'm like, man, Ariel, you'll keep teasing me. We got to go. No, so, I'm told you everybody in the gratitude room needs to meet up. You know how everybody's in the East coast and the West coast and we got in the middle, everybody right. needs to meet up in the middle, which is Denver. Yes. And then we're all going to go party. I'm telling right. you. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm planting the seed right now. The gratitude room just heard this. So here we go. Period. Yep. And listen, if the gratitude, I'm about to actually look at some dates area. I'm trying to come there before it start getting bad. We got to. Okay. For sure. Yeah, come through. Um, You know, just let me know. Come through. Ride bikes. Like you said, there's a park here that you would love. Uh, my girl loves it. It's called Washington Park. I don't know if you ever came here. And Did you ever see it when you came through? Because I mean, I meant like just recently when we was there in Denver, it was some big area because I was looking at it was because I was looking for stuff like that. I wish I would have reached out because I believe, yeah, I had your number when we went. Really? But it was like this big, yeah, a horseback. Um, It was like this big area where they had horse because I wanted to do something like that. Yeah. And it was like nighttime, like settled. And it was like this area way out, but it was so pretty. Yo. But we didn't get to do it. So I said, when I go back, come back, I have to do that. Okay. So in the wintertime, it's like um, we can go sledding. But in the summertime, you can go, I mean, yeah, in the summertime, we can drive up like 14 elevation, 12K elevation. But um, in the wintertime- Can you feel it? Cause that's what I'm, I've been hearing different stories. People are like, you can't breathe. I'm like- Yeah, that's true. Me and my- <laughs> Oh, that's- <laughs> Don't tell my mind. <laughs> you just gotta, you know, before you come, just make sure like a week before you come or two weeks, just make sure you do like, long walks or something like that yeah i'm a walk see and that's the thing and you're a biker so i don't think it's going to affect you that much you know a lot of people when they come they like to use uh they cut up a lemon and um uh and that helps um their their vertigo their vertigo or their dizziness or whatever listen (laughs) yeah okay so my point was that in the winter time they cut Uh off they cut the roads off because you can't travel up there because it's just so bad um, yeah i want one of those to be i ain't about to go i'm just thinking <laughs> i had a bad dream if you this ain't even funny i was in denver i want to go to the mountains so bad and i haven't seen them and yeah. i've been there like four times now oh. and so my cousin i don't know i had a dream that we was on the about to go to a flight and the flight had got it was like this edge, like a mountain. It was like, it was a mountain and it just kept on twirling. And it just, I was like, oh, so every time, every time I think of, like when I think somebody about to drive me to the mountains, I get nervous. And I oh was my. like, why am I getting nervous? Oh, my. okay, okay. You're gonna, you're, you're, you're gonna conquer that nervousness, okay? Oh yeah, cause I'm ready, I'm okay, ready. So, okay, so um, you can ride with me and my girl or you can get your crew, like your, you, you said your cousin and whoever you come through with, you can just follow us or whatever. And uh, yeah. It I'm is. definitely gonna hook you. I'm gonna have to get y'all hooked up because y'all will be. Yo, we're late over here. We always traveling. Oh, wow, see? Oh my goodness, I could talk to you forever. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we don't be talking up here. Yo, the bike, the bike situation. Are you wearing the helmet? 
I just yes. <laughs> from the gratitude room. They want them. So to I had a situation. <laughs> that was crazy. It was like a wet. It wasn't even really wet. It kind of like rain the, either that night or that day. And it was warm. Right, my bike, because I go from my house to around this lake, this little trail, go around the lake, and then I go back up and I come around my house. Usually be about seven miles. Mm -hmm. And when I was going around the lake, you know, it's up hills and whatever. And it was some kids, like four boys, and it was running. I'm like, you know, trying to stop. And I'm like, you know, hey, I got, you know, or laugh, laugh, you know, right? Because, you know, you're announcing yourself. Laugh, yeah, right? Yeah. And they moved on the opposite side. And then they got on the right the side. Then they came back on the side. And I was like, trying to laugh. Like, it was too late. And so I literally ran into the back of him and he fell. And then I flipped and I saw myself about to hit my head. And so I kind of like saved myself by my hands and stuff. But like, yeah. you know, I snapped my neck, but I hit my knee, hurt that my bike broke. And I literally had to walk hurt all the way up. <laughs> that was the most craziest, bizarre day. But you know what that taught me? That what? we as people don't mention enough because no one helped me, Ariel. And me personally, I was just thinking, I'm like, well, people, because I well, look like I'm hurt. You know, I was thinking stuff in my head. I'm just like, like, not one person say, ma'am, is there something? That's, you know, you, you know, oh. <laughs> I was like, wow. I know, sorry. I but I got back home and then the gratitude mama, our mama marvelous had bought me a beautiful, like, it looked like a hat cap. Um, helmet and then she blinked it out for me it is so sharp it is so sharp I love it I love it and my favorite color you guys is pink not because of breast before breast cancer pink was always my favorite color just so y'all know but obviously it makes it any more extra special because of the breast cancer so I love pink that's marvelous our mom she's just coming through <laughs> okay did you uh did you uh post a post yet on the helmet I don't think I've seen it yet on the posts you have mm -hmm. okay, I'm gonna check mm -hmm. Again, I'm gonna have to look closer. And I it's the, the pictures, the videos that you see, like the most recent ones on my bike. Uh -huh. I have the helmet on. I can't wait to see yep. it. <laughs> yeah. That's oh, I don't play no more. I'll be having a helmet. I love my helmet. Word. I believe that. That is such right. beautiful. All right. Let's see here. Let's go here. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What have you learned from your entrepreneur journey? that you have to be consistent. You have to um, right. be productive every single day, um, especially when you're a one man show. Um, for me, the type of business I'm in, it is not no easy job. Um, number one, you, you're working with a person, their personalities, the manipulation, you know, different behavior, whatever that comes, how that comes. And it's a job that you really got to have a lot of patience. So, and if, and it can't just be about a check. The money, you ain't going to be rich in this. You literally have to have a heart to care. Now, is it easy? No. <laughs> no. But guess what? What is? Um, how I got into the, the, my field was my great grandmother. Um, she had, uh, she was an entrepreneur. She had a business, um, a group home when I was a kid. And she served adults with development disabilities, mental retardation, whatever you want to call it. Um, and first experience seeing people. And then my grandmother, my mom, you know, did the same work. I volunteered. And, you know, as I got older, I worked in the field, you know, and got my feet, you know, wet and dirty. And I just couldn't work for nobody. And so I found myself going from job to job because I didn't like how a person would say this or, you know, I would see how people would treat and I'm speaking up for people. And, you know, I'm not going to say I was, I was talking, to I had some toxic ways, you know, I was young, you know, I may have said things in certain manners and didn't mean in that way, but that don't make it okay. You know, so I had to grow with how my approaches were and things of that nature. And so this field has really molded me, um, the times that I have, you know, and you have to do reports, you have to do daily doc, you know, it's a lot more state type of thing. You know, you're dealing with somebody, an, an adult that, you know, legal stuff. And so it's a lot that goes with it. And, you know, my goal now is to hire, you know, I finally got my payroll. I got me, um, you know, all that finally, yay. <laughs> that was like huge. Um, and so now I can officially hire someone like that's going to make my heart amazing to be able to have somebody pay their bills wow 
that you know, you know that, employee. That, goes long, that goes a long way not only does it help yeah. you out you're helping others yes absolutely and that's just something i've always wanted to do i'm all about reach one each one reach one teach one Whew. and if we all had that model to reach each other to teach each other we would be better each every person all it takes is one to one person but we so busy we judge each other we point fingers we talk about each other we're not you know it's just so much stuff that comes with that and we all can overcome that right. i've done it everybody's done it when you're a kid but are you going to learn and become better that's i mean that's you know that's the goal <laughs> that's the goal wow i guess the goal here be consistent, be productive, reach and teach each other. That's what I got. Yes. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> so with that, you're able to hire somebody. So that's amazing. Yay. I hope your bike gets fixed here soon. And I'm sorry that happened to you. And I hope you feel better and you know, you recover ASAP from those injuries. Oh, I'm good. This happened months back and I got a new bike. I oh, took that bike back. Yeah, I got a whole other bike. And I'm like, oh, 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 what I'm talking about. That's for yeah. sure. So I've actually, that's been, it was just something very light. Actually, guess what, Ariel? I went back, I went on a bike ride that next day. Today? The next day that I got hurt oh. on my knee. Oh my goodness. Swollen knee and all hurt. Because guess what? Devil, you're not going to ever win this fight. Yep. See, I'm a warrior of God. Yep. And see, if he give me the strength, I'm going to keep going. See, that's what made him mad. He tried to hurt me, the weapon form, but it didn't prosper. So that's why. Yep. I, I'm a conqueror. When I say that, I mean that. Oh. <laughs> I, this is real. This is a real fight for real. A mm -hmm. real marathon. Yep. You got this. I got your back for life. Believe that. I, I, ain't, I ain't lying. I don't know. Here we go. Here we go. Um, what's the... Man, producers tell me we got five more minutes and I'm like... I ain't, okay. I'm, I'm telling him I'm taking my time. I got a five o'clock. I have a five o'clock podcast too, but uh, you know, we got, let's see here. I'm going to just say we've got seven minutes. Here we go. Eight minutes. Um, what's the foolish accomplishment you are proud of? The coolest accomplishment I'm proud of is starting my, my business and being in business for five. So I literally haven't worked for nobody for over five years. Um, and been able to, you know, provide for my family, my children, um, you know, give my mom the lavish gift she wants, my grandma, my husband, my dad, you know, those things is just, that's big for me. You know, that's what I'm doing it for. This ain't for me. I work hard because I want to be able to take and give back to my mother, my dad, where they don't have to work. And then obviously I got little ones. I want to be able to set up generational wealth. So they can t pick up where everything started. Yeah. So that's kind of, that's my comment. Set up generational wealth. That's amazing. Absolutely. <laughs> that's a big, big, big picture. That's a big yes. picture right there. Yes. Well, you, can, you can do it. God's with you. I know it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We got one more question here. We got one more question here. And, you know, I do not want to get off this podcast with you. I can just kick it with you. <laughs> I want to, I just, what's the plans tonight? What's for dinner? You, what is for dinner? You know, probably some, I've, I've been wanting some Chinese food. So that's what I think that's what we're going to have tonight. No. I don't feel like cooking. I'm just oh. being real. Chinese, oh. you know, I want me some veggies. I love, they, I love how they cook their vegetables, to be honest. And I need some good vegetables in my body. So I think I'm gonna have me a good old vegetable lo mein. I love those pea pods. They be so good. Okay. Are you did, are you vegetarian? Pastatarian. Pastatarian. Yeah. So just seafood and vegetables, so no meat. Um, every blue moon. So lately, I've been adding turkey. See, the problem with me is I have low hemoglobin, low iron. And so I'll be trying to figure out what can get me the iron. You know, they say spinach and certain things, but that don't work for me. So that's why I've been trying to like put a little bit of meat, but I still, I try to just stay away. You know, I, I feel the difference with how I 
had no meat in my body. And when I start adding it, the difference of how I feel. Yeah. So, I mean, nothing against it. I feed it. My children eat it. My husband eat it. I just don't eat it. It's yeah. just a, a personal choice. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Um, same here. I'm, you, you know, my family eats it, but I'm just, you know, yeah. same thing. You know? uh, let's see here. I got to do got one more question. But before that, I'm going to give everybody here another chance so they can see where yeah. they can follow you here we go <laughs> we guys up on your instagram here we go that's angelia f 2002 that's a n g e l i a the letter f as in frank two zero zero two yeah and then when you're there hit the link tree once you hit the link tree check out her products come on guys pull up make sure you like share follow save okay Thank you guys so much. It truly means the world to me. That's how we do. It's how we run it up. There it is. Angela, that's how we do. Thank you so much. Um, do you want, oh man, we got this one last question and then you can just give us another, whatever you got, anything else to say. Here we go. This question is, here we go. Any advice? Here we go. What would you say? to someone who is going through a tough time right now? What I would say to a person who's going through a tough time right now is pray. Pray and lean into God because he's the answer to every situation. Um, if you got support from family or friends, talk to someone. You know, if they have an open line, use that. Um, don't ever suffer alone you know that's the one thing that's a no-no don't ever suffer alone if you got the support from a family get out there talk call go to their home and speak to them whatever's on your mind whatever you're going through speak to them about it but then after that you must pray about it because God will give you the answers to all of your answers it may not be the way we want but he'll get he'll fulfill all your needs you just gotta trust must receive faith that's it that's literally putting a dot on a piece of paper, that's how small a mustard seed is. That's all the faith that he requires. That's how he gets his strength to fight our battles. So keep going. You're a warrior. Put it best right there. You put it best with the seed with the paper. You killed it right there. That's amazing. I love that. And I got here, pray, lean to God. If you have support from family or friends, make sure you can talk and speak up if they have open-minded and don't suffer alone. Absolutely. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Hands down. Thank you so much. You came and kicked butt on this podcast. I am so grateful for you. I'm so honored. And uh, if you ever need anything, is there anything else you want to promote? Anything you want to talk about before we jump off? Thank you for um, having me as a guest on your podcast. It was amazing here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you guys were able to get encouraged. Keep on going because everybody is winners. Everybody has purpose. Find out what it is. Tap into yours and keep living your life. Angelia. <laughs> Peace and blessings. I'm done. Dropping what? Blessings and blessings. Blessing. Oh my gosh. She did it. She said it. She said her quote. Um, that is amazing. I, that, that's so cool. Um, Angelia. <laughs> We'll be waiting for you here in Colorado when you pull up. You know how we do. Yeah. You know I was on this dope podcast. You know, we'd be pulling up, come through. And so. Right. <laughs> so happy. I am so grateful. Angelia, thank you so much. Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, arielent.com. Available on all podcast platforms. Five-star review, guys, on the Apple and Spotify. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The donations are down below, guys. The links, thank you so much. ArielEnt.com, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, YouTube, Apple, everything, guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I think that is it. I am out. I got I got another one here in 10 minutes. Angelia, you're more than welcome to jump off anytime. Bye, about guys. Thank you, Ariel. Thank you. I'll catch a you. Pleasure. Yeah, it's an amazing. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Yep, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you again. Yeah, no, God, God bless. You. Love you. God bless. All right. Love you. Take care. Take care. All right. Bye. See ya. Guys, Ariel Podcast, I told you we're going to have another amazing classic. I'm going to tell the DJ, DJ, drop the track, baby. Woo! Oh.
Yeah. And Delia, thank you so much for coming on the show. You have no idea. It's going to blow up. Mile high fly, as you said. All right, shout out to Minnesota. Uh, shout out to Twin Peaks. Oh, I forgot to ask her about the baseball games and stuff. All right, all right. Angelia, make sure in the future we're going to do part two, okay? Part two, part two, part two. Um, Gratitude Rue, thank you so much for everything, for all your support, for leading in us, and just watching my content, and listening, and just sharing. It truly means the world to me, Gratitude Rue. Best friends, thank you so much for starting with me from day one, best friends. I love you guys, all the listeners around the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. All right, all right, Ariel's Entertainment Podcast, arielnc.com. I'm giving a shout out to everybody all around the world, because that's what I do. I uplift and elevate everybody, okay? I want everybody to win, like my homegirl, Angelia, just said. We want everybody to win. We want everybody to win. I want you to say it with me. I love life. I love life. I love life. I love life. 